Hello everyone. In this high yielding shorts, I am going to tell you about psoriasis, which is an autoimmune disorder, and they are associated with HLA, and that is HLA C W six. So in this autoimmune disorder, what is pathogenesis? It is because of sensitized T cells. What are those T cells? CD4 Th1 cell, Th17 cells, and CD8 cytotoxic cells. What they are going to do? They are going to get accumulated within the epidermis, and this will start releasing cytokines like IL12, IL17, interferon gamma, and TNF alpha. And out of all these cytokines, which is most important, is TNF alpha, right? What they are going to do? They are going to stimulate keratinocyte proliferation. they will cause more inflammation more increased cell turnover more angiogenesis and in this you will also find there is a trauma precipitating the lesion that is called as kubner phenomena right in psoriasis what are the common sites you are going to check it is the elbow knee scalp and sometime occasional entire body is affected so when okay in this entire body is affected that will be called as erythroderma and 30% of the cases are associated with nail changes so what are those nail changes oil slick pattern nail pitting on icolysis where nail plate will be separated from the nail blade right and on clinical lesion if you are going to uh, see they will be having classic lesion classic lesion you can notice what is this this is the this is the silvery white scale and when you will remove this silvery white scale you are going to see salmon pink colored plaque right so silvery white scales are present when you remove you are going to see salmon pink colored plaque right so what is this called as <coughs> this is called as auspit sign can you see this when you are removing this scale you can see there is a salmon pink colored plaque and that is called as auspit sign pin point bleeding after scale is removed and there is a kubner phenomena kubner phenomena is when this patient is going to scratch or rub lesion is going to extend lesion is going to extend so development of new lesions within the areas of trauma because of scratching rubbing or injury is called as kubner phenomena right so auspit sign kubner phenomena we are going to see in this psoriasis on microscopic examination what we are going to notice there will be a clubbing and fusion of the reti ridges so you can see there is a clubbing and fusion of reti ridges right and there will be aggregate of neutrophil within the epidermis so this will be having two presentation number one called as munro's microapsis which will be a paragyriotic stratum corneum so you can see this is the paragyriotic stratum corneum and in this you can notice there are micro abscess of the neutrophil so these are the collection of the neutrophil so when you find uh, munro's micro abscess these are the aggregates of the neutrophil in the stratum corneum right and here you can see there is a spinous layer so here also you are seeing in this spinosum layer so when you find in this spinosum layer collection of the neutrophil that is called as stratum that is called as spongiform pustule or cogwash which will be seen in stratum spinosum so these are important point about the psoriasis enjoy learning best wishes